Hello, welcome to today's video. Today we're making a Christmas crown. It's currently the festive season and I don't really engage in much for the holidays, but one thing I personally really love are Christmas crackers. It has been brought to my attention that these are not a thing all around the world. They definitely are here in Australia and I think the UK, but for the uninitiated, they are basically a toilet roll. <laughs> Uh, that has something that makes it pop. You can see it when you pull it apart. And inside is typically a really bad joke, a little plastic trinket, and a crown. The thing about these paper crowns is that they are definitely one size fits most. On some people, they fall completely down their head, they are too big. On myself, they often rarely fit. I do have a little bit of baggage around the size of my head. I met a woman once. I was at a party. I was like 17 years old, was very nervous. I was just kind of trying to exist. And she said, you look a lot like your dad. You've got a big head like your dad. That's not good these days. And I know a big head is like a phrase, but she definitely meant the physical size of my head. And then some family took it and ran with it and constantly made big head jokes and um, it wasn't fun. It definitely is like a thing that I carry. But anyway, these Christmas hats sometimes don't fit and that sucks and today I'd like to make a reusable one that is a little more eco-friendly and also will fit any size head. But before that, let's open this cracker and see what our joke and trinket is. I'm really hoping uh, this cracker actually has a hat. Some of them don't, but anyway. Oh, why am I nervous? Uh, <laughs> oh. oh, it is steaming. Okay, wow. What have we got? <laughs> we have an orange crown. Incredible, let's get it on. I don't love the shape of this one. This has like the frills at the top. Usually they are like bigger. I was gonna use this as my pattern, but I'm not gonna do that anymore. Okay. See, they're just like glued together on one end and mine always burst apart there. So let's, you know what? This one actually fits okay. I kind of love it, but onto the, the rest of it. Are you ready for a joke? What do ghosts eat? Spooketti. That is not Christmassy. I don't, I don't get it. Um, oh, and this one has a charade as well, a song. Candle in the wind. Okay, I can see that that would be fun around a dinner table, but I'm a little disappointed with the joke. Not very festive, but okay. And our trinket is a plastic key to unlock something. But yeah, this, this hat, it's cute, it's fun. I would like to make one out of fabric that I can reuse and will know that no matter what, it fits my head. I will use this as a base for the kind of size, I guess, that I'm going for. I'm going to change the points so that it is more kind of crown shaped. And to make it kind of one size actually fits all, rather than making it a full circle, I'm going to leave it with a ribbon on the ends to tie up. But the first step is picking out fabric, so let's go to my fabric stash and decide what we're using. I have this Christmas remnant. It's got like candles on it. I thought that could be cute, even if I use it for the lining, uh, but I feel weird about using such a small amount of fabric. So I think I'm going to dig through my basket of like leftovers and see what I can find. Here it is. There is a lot in here. Ooh, I think maybe a satin could be cool if I have enough. I'll keep that as a maybe. There's not quite enough of this. This is stretchy. Hear me out. I think plaid is quite Christmassy. What if I like lined it in this cotton and had the outside a pretty plaid? I do live in Australia where Christmas is like peak summer. So maybe not. <laughs> I also have this white, I don't know what this actually is. I assume it's cotton. I'm going with the plaid flannel. So it's gonna be warm, but it's worth it for the vibes. So the next step is to make my pattern piece. I am going to kind of trace the paper crown 
um, and then make my own triangle crown points. I'm really bad at making that kind of thing even. I think I'm gonna eyeball it and hope for the best. <laughs> I think that's about right. I probably should have like measured. That should be about right. It's fine. Winging things always works. I don't fully know what I'm doing. Um, this is without seam allowance. This is a lot of points to involve seam allowance for. I'm sure it'll work out. So now to check if I have enough fabric. Oh, that's a problem, isn't it? I'm short by like a centimeter. You can't see that. Ooh, oh no. Well, that ain't gonna work, is that? Um, okay, what am I gonna do about that then? I could probably make it a bit smaller. Um, because it's gonna have a ribbon. Let me see. If I cut the last spike off so that there's a bit of a band, I might do that. Okay. Everything is fine. Everything is good. There's no problems in this neighborhood. <laughs> also, I did uh, find a little piece of gold ribbon that we will be using. Uh, I'm just assuming there's enough- yeah, there's heaps of this. Oh wow, there is so much of this. Huh. I feel almost bad using it. Uh, but I'll just use an edge piece. I'm gonna cut out the lining first because there is less of that fabric. I'm gonna fold down the last spoke. Is it a spoke point thing? I am gonna go cut that out off camera just because it's kind of stressing me out a little and I'll be back with the lining. Okay, I was able to add the seam allowance. It's only a small one, but hopefully it's enough. Um, this is way more spiky than I wanted it, but that's okay. It's gonna be smaller because of the seams, obviously. Oh my God, it's, is this not like the jug head? Okay. <laughs> I am going to, oh, I am going to use this to cut out the other fabric just to make sure they're the same. Um, I feel like stitching it together is where it's all gonna go wrong, but on to the next fabric. Okay, um, I have it all pinned up, clipped up, ready to go. Uh, I've got the ribbon tucked in. I'm going to leave the bottom open. I don't care if there's top stitching over that. Wish me luck with all the points. I have no idea how this is gonna go. I'm a little bit nervous, but it's fine. <laughs> Okay, it has been stitched. I am gonna have to do something to the seam allowance. I don't know if like clipping will be enough. I, I have no idea. And then I'm gonna turn it inside out and hope it worked out. I don't know how I'm going to be able to get the points out, but I need to trim everything, I think. But it's almost done. I'm really excited. Okay. Ugh. Excuse how sweaty I am. It is summer. Um, <laughs> it's it's getting there. They look a little bit silly, the points. Uh, I'm going to very quickly iron it. Uh, and then I've just got to do the bottom hem. And then it's done. I haven't tried tying it yet. Okay, interesting. It's almost the size of my head. Interesting. Oh, I kind of love it. Okay, I'm gonna go iron it and hopefully that fixes some of the problems I've got with it. Um, ah, I'm so excited. It's done. I actually think it came out quite nicely. Points aren't all exactly pointy and it's a bit warped in the back, but that's fine. I haven't tried it on. This is the first time. Okay, I, I love this. I think this is so cute. I 
kind of want to make like a million of these. If I had the time, I would make one for like everyone coming to my family Christmas, uh, but that would take quite a long time. This is so cute. I wonder if I could wear it the other way around. I mean, it's the kind of thing that you very easily could make double-sided because it's fully lined. I guess. I don't love the look of that colour, but... <laughs> I like that because it's adjustable, you could leave it bigger if you've got your hair done up. It's that annoying thing of like, if you have anything but hair down, they don't fit. Oh my god, this is so fun! So there we have it. A little Christmas crown, ready for the holidays. I do love the colours, it is very festive if I lived in the Northern Hemisphere. Um, I might make myself another one to be a little more summery, but I think it is absolutely adorable. I feel like these would make really great gifts. It was super easy to make. This was all scrap fabric and a scrap bit of ribbon. It wasn't as hard as I thought it would be, to be honest. I was really nervous about all of the uh, points and how difficult they might be not only to cut out, but then to stitch. Some of them aren't very pointy, but it's the kind of thing where like, it doesn't matter that much. Um, they're not all even, but for something that was kind of self-drafted really quickly, for something that I made in like an hour, I am so happy with this. You could probably add some kind of stiffening or use a fabric that has a bit more structure to keep the points really rigid. Um, but this is so cute. I really love it and I love how customizable it is. You could do anything. You could add more points. You could have less points. You could do literally anything. It's also a great scrap buster project. You can screenshot the pattern that I included earlier. Um, it was super simple, but if you just want to draft it yourself quickly, all you need is your head measurement. You want to make it a little bit smaller than that so that there's room for the ribbon. And then my uh, points were four centimeters across, but I also marked two centimeters so that I knew where the point was. Um, and then I kind of eyeballed the height of them then I just kind of ruled it up. It was actually more simple than I expected. I will say I really do recommend having like a tail almost where there are no more kind of points uh, so that there is somewhere for the ribbon to attach and it, I think it just is a bit nicer than having it end straight at a point. But yeah, I am so happy with how this turned out. I'd say this is a pretty easy project, pretty simple, quick. I'm really happy with it. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you give this a try, let me know. I'd love to see how yours turn out. You can like this video if you liked it. Happy holidays. You can subscribe. I upload twice a week and I will see you next time. Bye. Yeah.